vessel. I trust you've come to report that you succeeded in capturing Kyrkanos. Well, not exactly, Lord Jax. Not exactly. My men tracked him to an outer rim planet called Zadja in the Tridlon sector, but he escaped before they could lay hands on him. Are you sure it was Kanos? We lost three squads in the attempt. <laughs> that is Kanos. We believe that he is still somewhere in that sector. Perhaps if we... No. He's far away from there by now. Believe me, General, I know how he thinks. Kanos is as resourceful as he is treacherous. I want to make myself very clear. If you lose him again, you will answer to me. Tear the galaxy apart, planet by planet, if that's what it takes, but find him. As long as he lives, our plans can never come to fruition. As long as he's alive, the Empire, our Empire, is in jeopardy. But my lord, surely no one man can be that much of a <laughs> You have no idea what this one man is capable of. But I do. He is the only man in all the galaxy who can stand in the way of my... of our plans. As you say, my lord. From this moment on, General Wessel, you have but one mission. Find Kier Kanos. Name's Mercon. Tim Mercon. That was some number you did on those Imperials back at the cantina. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get mostly thugs and thieves around these parts. Brawlers, backstabbers. But you fought the discipline. I mean... Real style. <laughs> yeah, you're a real chatty fella. I'm guessing you've got a military background, but you didn't come out of the regular academy, am I right? Maybe you're right. <laughs> I shouldn't point my scanners at other people's business. Man's got a right to his privacy, you got a point there. But I've traveled a bit, and I've seen some things. The only men I've ever seen with the kinds of moves you've got were either Jedi Knights or members of Palpatine's elite guard. You got anything to say? Is this the place? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> my little hidey hole. <laughs> Used to be my domicile till things started looking up. I use it as a warehouse now, mostly. Come on in. Done my share of trading. And you know a trader can't play by imperial rules and still make an honest credit. So I had to make a few alterations to the storeroom. Like this underground chamber hidden underneath a stack of motivators I could never unload. <sighs> <laughs> well, come on. This leads down to my hiding place. You go first. <laughs> right. <laughs> down we go. Mm. Oh. oh, my bones are getting too old for that. Hey, up there, any time you want to come down here and join me, I'll... There is no <laughs> need to shout. Please! Blast it! <laughs> you, you, you move pretty quiet. <laughs> well... This is the place. Not much, just a square room. A couple of chairs and a cart. It's rough, but then I didn't build it for comfort. There's food and water to last a full cycle. Of course, you won't be down here anywhere near that long, huh? <laughs> On the way you mentioned friends. Uh, yeah, oh, you got a beef with the Imperials? And I got friends who'll want to help you. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, well, why don't you get some sleep? You look like you could use it. I'll be back. Sleep. I haven't closed my eyes since I was halfway across the galaxy. Recording activated. Uh, okay. This is my first entry. It's begun. If things are ever set right in this galaxy, this record is going to be useless. But if I die before things do get set right, maybe this will help someone continue my work. Okay, where to begin? That man, Murkon, called this room rough. <laughs> it is nothing compared to what I've been through. It's not even as bad as regular stormtrooper duty. That is where all this began. Ten years ago. The day I was drafted into the most elite unit in the galaxy. The Emperor's Royal Guard. We'd never even seen the Royal Guard before. They only attended the Emperor himself, but we'd heard of them. They were ghosts dressed in red. 
one of them was worth a hundred regular stormtroopers. They were the best in the galaxy. How could we say no? The next few years went by in a blur. Time did not matter on the planet Inchor, only our training. Day after day, we honed our skills in a deadly arena suspended over a deep pit. A single misstep meant death. It was the testing ground known as the Squall. Now, is that the best you've got, Kana? I wouldn't waste my best on you, Connor Jax. <laughs> My blade. <laughs> Long gone now. I'm gonna have to get another. <laughs> I'll face it, Kier Kanos. In the squall, I always win. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. Right Maybe. <laughs> the galaxy is a big place, and what we learn in the squall won't always apply. What's that? A visitor. Visitor. We've been on intro for three years now. We've never had it. All trainees assemble around the edge of the squall. Double time. Yes, yes sir. sir. Jax. See who's coming down from the landing port? The squad's all dressed in red. Yeah, but only one squad dresses that way. The Royal Guard. <sighs> that means that our visitors. Bow down, you dogs. Down on one knee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Command. Yes, command. Taskmaster. Yes, Your Excellency. These are the latest trainees. Yes, my lord. They give a great deal out of loyalty to me. They honor me with their sacrifice. I shall speak with them. My students stand ready to... You there. Rise. What is your name? I... I'm Kier Kanos, Your Excellency. I know your life here cannot be easy. And your training is exceedingly difficult. Yes, sire, but prepares me for a life of service to my emperor. Excellent. Lord Vader? Yes, my master. You are prepared for the demonstration? As it pleases you, my master. You may begin. Taskmaster, who is your best student? Verdanid is the most proficient, although Karnor Jax and Kir Kanos are... Verdanid. Yes, Lord Vader. Step into the squall with me. Now, take up your weapon. My lord? Attack me. Hold nothing back. Uh, your Excellency? Do your duty, son. We watched the contest. I had fought Bird Danid many times in practice. His attacks were awesome. His defenses flawless. His technique perfect. Yet Vader toyed with him as if he were a child. My blade is at your throat, Danid. You do not ask for mercy. No, Lord Vader. As it should be. Give them your assessment, Lord Vader. If he was your best, you are not yet fit to serve the Emperor. You are weak. Return to your studies. You have much to learn. We did have a lot to learn. But Lord Vader had already taught us one thing. Service to the Emperor demanded more than mere perfection. Kanos, first entry. Terminated.